Let's fill our loop together for the first time. But before we start doing this, let's go through the checklist. What we need? One is external power supply to make our pump work because we can't use power up the entire computer without proper um, cooling. It will burn, so we need external power supply for that. Uh, we need some paper towels or uh, some clothes, so in case of uh, water going out, we will we'll remove it quickly. We need a funnel, which we'll use to fill the loop, and you already saw this wonderful device in other videos, and uh, some distilled water. No tap water, no, okay? So, to test our loop, we use distilled water and um, later we can replace it with a premix solution or whatever we decide to go with water with silver, with addictive and so on and so forth so let's go, I will just we'll keep camera rolling we'll speed up certain parts, it will be too long and we'll see how things go alright, so unscrew my fill port and um, actually I forgot to connect one of the tubing to the radiator so that's basically what I definitely need to do first otherwise that will be a very big surprise and definitely not very pleasant one so let's let's do just this how you tied up your fittings is just um, use your strength of your hands you don't need any tools to do so and there should be gap left between both parts of the compression fitting, so it's it's normal. Okay, so let's see that everything is connected properly. Okay, now it looks good, so we can start putting water. What I do here, I just screw my funnel into the fill port. Okay. Like this. And um, simply will start adding water here. Not very convenient. Here, just wait until this stuff going through. Might help it squishing top tube. You can see. Yeah. Okay. Alright, that's as much as you can go. So next step, connecting pump. Actually, next step that I miss, I would like to put some paper towels in a critical area. One, I would like to cover this this power supply, so if water goes, or actually this already goes here, but I didn't screw it properly. And um, I would like to put some towel right under the CPU. Okay. Now I connect. start pushing water through the system and I'll watch if I uh, have any leaking in any areas. See water start going through and the air is get pushed out of the system and goes up. Takes a little bit of time in the beginning. We'll just wait until water level goes down. Let's go to this level. We'll just add more water. Simple as that. And we observe if there we have any leaking anywhere. If there is, we'll stop and start removing water. seems to be going anywhere yet. So I stop pump, equalize pressure, step pump again. 
and it worked much better. Enough. So first portion of filling of the loop completed. Put in more water. Okay, start pump again. Much faster. Begin always slower than than following steps. Okay. For now, what's happening now? We we're filling reservoir. So as a reservoir will be, not a reservoir, a uh, radiator. When the radiator will be full, then water starts coming actually through the entire system. Okay, yeah, that's much faster now. Still have water. Well, seems seems like our loop pretty much full. <clears throat> you can uh, wiggle the case a little bit to see if that helps, and you can get rid of the some trapped water. But it's obviously that uh, we have. Uh, we have loop more or less filled, it still has a, some area which uh, <coughs> has a bubbles and they will remove after we will run it for a few hours, like overnight or something like this. But for now we're actually pretty much uh, done. So what we need to do is start uh, keep it running and observe if there are any water coming in any areas. Okay, have some water coming here. But the only reason for that is because I didn't screw my funnel to the end, so it's it's very loose. Other than that, doesn't seem to have any any problems. So I keep it running for a while, and we'll see if we get any more problems. So that's what you do. Now you just wait. Make sure that you have no issues here because it's important. When you checked it. You will run it for months and don't uh, suppose to touch it anymore, but be sure that it's good. 